Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Oz, the Sustainable Orange here. Firstly, let me start with an apology for not providing many updates recently. Uh, it's been a bit crazy at work and I managed to take an inadvertent road trip down to Italy in our EV. Um, so if you're interested in the story behind that one, uh, drop a comment. Let me know that you'd like to see a video about that and uh, we'll see what we can do. So this one's going to be focused really on the modifications that I've been making to the wind turbine um, and just an update in general around where we're at with that project. So let's jump in. Okay, so what have we been up to? Well, one of the first areas that I was most concerned about was the vibrations on the sail causing the nuts to undo. So I purchased some nylock nuts from Amazon um, and we've added those onto all of the bolts that are protruding from the sail in the hope that that stops any vibrations from unscrewing any of the nuts. Okay, next up I was concerned about the output cable from the actual base of the turbine itself. There's a hole and three cables sticking out and I felt that I could do a better job of that. So I purchased some uh, grommets, rubber grommets, which will line the edge of the uh, actual hole in the, in the output and uh, stop the cables from rubbing or wearing through. I've also purchased some heat shrink, which will go over and keep all three cables bundled together. And then additionally, I've purchased some uh, snake skin or cable skin and that's going to be then used to sheath the outside of those cables to stop them rubbing against the metal of the outer case of the base of the turbine as well. So I'm hoping that with all those things together we can avoid any damage occurring to the actual output cables um, and that should hopefully avoid any concerns that I have there. So the other concern that I had was how I was actually going to connect the wind turbine itself. The wind turbine comes with three output cables and they're just cut at a random length. So I purchased an IP68 um, cable connector, inline one, three pole, um, to take the three phase um, cable down to um, where it's going to connect up to the charge controller. That cable connector is just a barrel. It's water resistant, watertight, waterproof, hopefully, dust resistant, dust proof. So, in theory, nothing should get into that once we've uh, securely connected it up. And that should keep all the weather out and away from the connections, stop them from um, oxidizing or going bad, um, and also provide an easy way for us to connect and disconnect the turbine should we need to you know, take it down for maintenance or any reason like that. Okay, so the other bits that I've been purchasing have been around how we actually manage and integrate the turbine. So I've purchased some DIN rails, I've purchased a Wi-Fi meter, which will allow me to keep an eye on how much energy I'm actually generating, kind of give me a lifetime tally of, of how much energy uh, the turbine's actually generated. Uh, and then additionally, I've also purchased a large 100 amp uh, two pole breaker just so I can easily disconnect the system uh, should I need to. Okay, so the final thing that I purchased was an inline energy meter so that I can keep a real time record of what's happening uh, between the charge controller and the batteries or the batteries and the inverter. And also a bus bar to allow me to connect the inline energy meter and the batteries um, in, in between the inverter and the charge controller. So the final part that's missing now is still the inverter, unfortunately. Um, I have spoken to Tessup and they have assured me that they've received delivery from their supplier and that all the people with back orders for the inverter should have them shipped now. So fingers crossed, any day I should get that. And as soon as I get that, then we can continue on with the project and uh, get this thing up and running. So we're still starting out. So please remember to subscribe. Please like the video. All your shares are much appreciated and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.